The concrete machine base or bases are installed ready for grouting over suitable structural concrete foundations with anchor bolts installed, all according to the machine or equipment manufacturer's requirements. The first steps of the grouting works are to check the concrete substrate. The concrete must be more than 28 days old. Concrete blowholes, voids or other defects must be fully exposed. Surfaces must be sound, clean and free from ice, dirt, oil, grease, existing surface treatments, cement latency, etc. Prepare the concrete surfaces mechanically by scabbling, blast cleaning or hand chiseling, etc. Chamfer the edges of the concrete bases to 45 degrees for a minimum of 50 millimeters or 2 inches by grinding. Any loose or friable material must be removed, best by blast cleaning to achieve a contaminant-free open textured concrete surface. Finally, vacuum the surface so that it's also completely dust-free. Ensure any anchor bolt sleeves are cleaned out thoroughly. Fill with a suitable self-leveling, flowable Sikaflex sealant if required. Sikadua 42 epoxy grout is highly flowable and so it usually requires the use of temporary timber formwork. To avoid sharp edges, the formwork should be chamfered, typically by using angled slats. A release agent, for example polyethylene film or wax-based liquid, is normally applied on the formwork to prevent adhesion of the grout. Apply liquid release agents carefully and to the formwork only. Design the formwork to maintain more than 100 mm head to facilitate the grout flow. Fix the formwork using suitable temporary supports according to the volume, pressure and weight of the grout. In order to prevent leaks or seepage, the formwork and base plates must be sealed. An excellent sealant for this purpose is Sikaflex 11FC+. The machinery can now be placed in its final position. The precise positioning and leveling must be completed and confirmed before pouring the grout. Protect any adjacent steel surfaces with tape and use plastic sheeting to protect the machinery and equipment as necessary. The anchor bolt should be wrapped with insulating tape about 6 mm thick to prevent the grout bonding to the threaded bolts. This should extend from the top of the concrete to the underside of the base plate. Mixing the Sikadua 42 grout. First mix the resin components A and B together in the component A pail for approximately 30 to 60 seconds with a low speed drill and grout mixing paddle. Avoid aeration and mix until the material becomes fully homogeneous and uniform in color and consistency. Pour the mixed epoxy components into an appropriate grout mixing vessel. Slowly add powder component C to keep air entrainment to a minimum to the defined mixing ratio according to the flow requirements. Continue to mix until fully homogeneous and uniform, approximately three minutes. Mix only that quantity which can be used within its pot life according to the ambient temperature. Never mix component A and B without then immediately adding component C as the exothermic reaction between A and B alone can generate excess heat if allowed to stand for more than a few minutes. For pouring the grout, it is essential that the mixing capacity, grout supply and labor availability are all sufficient to enable the grouting operation to be carried out continuously without interruption once started. Grouting is always carried out from the shortest distance across the base plate. Pour the mixed grout into the prepared formwork from one or two sides only to prevent air entrapment. Maintain the grout head to ensure intimate contact with the underside of the base plate. Place sufficient epoxy grout in the forms for it to rise slightly above the underside of the base plate, at least 3 millimeters. During curing of the grout, do not move or agitate the formwork or the machinery. After full curing, the formwork can be removed and the necessary torque can be applied to the anchor bolts. 
In the second Sika Dua 42 animation, we will explain four additional application techniques. One, dividing the whole base into sections for grouting. Two, what to do to avoid freshly applied materials stagnating in flow. Three, continuous mixing and grout supply chain. And four, pumping of grout.